Hello. In this video, I'm going to explain the basics of using a key cloner software for multiboxing, specifically World of Warcraft. Um, there's a couple of key cloning softwares out there. Um, I use HotkeyNet. I don't know anything about IS Boxer, but I hear it's good. Um, this video revolves around HotkeyNet. So take it, take this wolf. I want to blow up this wolf, um, but when I press the number three, which has my offensive spells like Shadow Bolt, like Smite, or in this case like Fire Bolt, I'm only casting it one character at a time. At a time. What a program like HotkeyNet does is it allows me to, at the press of the number three, cast Shadow Bolt, Smite, and Fireball all at once. So that's a lot of what multiboxing can and does revolve around. You technically don't need a key cloner, but it's how to use a key cloner. Anywho, um, so HotkeyNet, Google, download it, open it up, which is exactly what I'm going to do here. And you get something that looks like this, open up the program, and voila, you have HotkeyNet. Um, so how does this thing work? You have some options here. You have file, load script, and you'll be using that one. You have actions, rename window, and unload script. So for the most basic part, those are the three thing, things you should know. Load script, rename window, unload script. Um, I would recommend making it a habit of unloading a script each time you open it up. In the future, you'll probably learn why. So, first things first, a script is something that allows, that tells you, tells this program to send your keystroke, in this case the number three, to each window of, in this case, World of Warcraft. So that's what a script does. It sends your keystroke to all those windows that you tell it to send it to. So how do we tell HotkeyNet to do this? This video is just the basics. So in the description below, there will be a basic script that I will have just copied and pasted there. Um, as you see here, called Multibox 5 Basic. Um, it's going to look something like this. It says label alpha local send wind MWO, and it does that for a in this case, five sections, five lines, and you have your movement hotkeys, which in this case, it's telling which keys will be sent to all the windows of World of Warcraft. So in this case, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and zero set up so that if I press one, it'll be sent to each of these windows. If I press two, three, four, five, and so on, it'll be sent to each of these windows. And then underneath that, I have send label alpha, bravo, charlie, delta, echo. And if you look, alpha, bravo, charlie, delta, echo, that's how that works. So it'll send these keystrokes to these windows. And that's kind of the basics that's the basic idea, and that's the, that's basically how HotkeyNet works, just in these regards. It sends these keystrokes to these windows. Okay, so now that we've discussed that, um, in the description, you highlight it, copy that thing. You're going to open up Notepad in your computer. We're going to paste it, file, save as, and we are going to save this text file as la, 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 la. Okay, I like that name. So we've saved our script as la, 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 la. Okay. Now, in order to get this to work, we need to change the windows, the window names of each of our instances of World of Warcraft. 
So if you take a look again, la 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 la, I'm gonna open it up. Um, we need to change this window name from World of Warcraft to, let's just change it to WoW O. So how do we do that? We do that by, in our hotkey net program, clicking on actions, scrolling down to rename window. This window pops up. Um, move your mouse cursor to the top bar or the top border, border of whatever window name you're trying to change. You hit shift on your keyboard, which I just did. Right click on your mouse and then change the name to WoW O. All right, so that name has been changed to WoW O. And if you look, the name of the window changes. All right, that's one down. So now we want to change another window. We're going to change this window to WoW P. So go to Actions, Rename Window, Shift, right click, and we change it to WoW P. Not WoW P O, but WoW P. And finally, we want to change the name of this window from World of Warcraft to Actions, Rename Window, Shift, right click, WoW. Let's call it I. Step. All right. So now we've renamed each window of World of Warcraft. Um, good. Let's see. Can we start casting it all at once? No. So the final step to simply get started with using HotKeyNet as a multi-boxing key cloning program, you go to File and load script. So this is where we're going to load the script that you copied into a notepad from the link below, from the description below. So we called ours la 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 la, and we've just loaded the script. So let's take a look. All of our characters have targeted this poor wolf. I'm going to press number three, and the wolf never stood a chance. And we have our software set up now. And our keys, just take a look at our note. Let's just take a look at the, uh, what should we call it? Script once more. The keys, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 0, will now be cloned to each window of World of Warcraft. So I hit 1, and that's the follow key. I hit, in this case, two. That'll be my assist key. I hit three, and they all shoot. Shoot them one more time. This bat's kind of tougher. Oh, somebody dinged. Then I'm going to hit four, and see that casts whatever's on number four. Let's see. I don't think I have anything else to say. Um, and that's the basics of HotKeyNet. You can add to this. You can make it. The, you can make them the F keys. You can use your letter keys as many as you need. You can add the windows. So if you want to label Echo, Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, Echo, um, Lava, La Beans, whatever, and then send it to other windows. You can, and that's the basics of HockeyNet. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Um, I'm no expert, but this is the basics that should get you started. Take care.